the secret compartment. Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for joining me on another video. Hopefully you guys are doing great and everything's going well for you. Today I'm going to be working on my mini loader here. Uh, on this uh, compartment here, I believe that uh, that's a false bottom. I don't know what else could be underneath there. Um, but I do use this compartment for storage. And if my calculations are right... This is going to be empty, and I'll be able to utilize this whole compartment. So uh, I'm going to try to remove these little spot welds here. It's got six of them. And uh, see if I could open this whole thing up. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it because it is very, very tight fit in there. I don't know if I'm going to go. Uh, well, I can't. I, it's probably going to be like a little Dremel or something. I don't know how else uh, to uh, open that up. Um really can't fit a hammer in there because uh this is probably about 10 inches right here um it's just a tight fit but uh let me get to it and i'll share uh my findings when i'm all done all right so here you go so come to find out this was unused storage in the tractor and as you could see i just doubled my storage uh, it was a pain in ass trying to get it out I had to use a sawzall crowbar and a sledge. As you could see, I could not get all the uh, welds out. I'm going to have to use a Dremel, but uh, it is a pain in the ass. took me a few hours, no joke, uh, uh, just because of the shape of the box. So the opening is very narrow up here, and then it tapers down. So it is a pain in the butt. If you are removing one, take your time. Like I said, the easiest tool was the sawzall and a crowbar. And I'll show you what it looks like, what I have to do. So I had to cut it in half so it bend it, so I could bend it a little bit and uh, maneuver and get it out. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. Any questions, comments, leave them down below and I will see you on the next video. See ya.